there's so much to say about Menace. About 17, maybe 18 years ago when we first met, I was actually <laughs> hoping for this day, the day he would be dead. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Well, today is Menace's birthday. Hey. Happy birthday, little Hi. buddy. How's it feel? 45. <sighs> Feels weird. I'll feel 45 <laughs> because when I was Oh, much wait, hold younger, on. Don't say it another word. Hold on. You're gonna, hmm. You need your sash. Oh, yeah. my sash. Your birthday sash. Gold yeah. glitter yeah. sash. Thank you, there we go. Thank you, Seabass. He presented it to me. Yeah, there's the sash. Like I was uh, a like Miss America. Winner. That's <laughs> right. There he <laughs> is. Thank you. Thank you. There he is. Uh, right. Yeah, I don't feel 45 because remember like when you were in your 20s or your teens, you're like 45. You're like, whoa. Yeah. Oh. Grandpa. Grandpa. And then... And then when I run into people, they think I'm like 35. Hmm. And I, I think I feel, I finally feel maybe 35, but I don't, I definitely don't feel 45. And I run into other 45 year olds are like, damn, you've been through some stuff, you know, <laughs> but well, um, I'm enjoying it. Well, we, uh, we have something. Well, I, I don't, Gina mm. Grad has yeah. something oh, for you. Really? Ooh. Yeah. I Ooh. brought this across okay. state lines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A you. gift a for you. Things Is it a there. gun? <laughs> no, it's not a gun. There's, a, there's two different rap things in there. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, like Menace has always said he you can't give him a gun because he'll get drunk and high and play with it. Yeah, that's true. Because I would just constantly think about it, and how mm-hmm. cool it was. <laughs> so he's pulling out the first All right, thing. First one. Okay. All right. It's hand picked for you. Okay. Nice. Oh wow, it's really rap. Sorry, I just Sorry. really wanted to make it oh. nice. Are you good at rapping? It is- no. Ooh. <laughs> what is it? It's a Bucky's pecan log. Oh, oh yeah. With the oh. divinity marshmallow yeah, stuff inside. It, it's very phallic. I love yeah. It. <laughs> Looks like beef pizzle. Ooh. Yeah. And, a bumper <laughs> sticker. and nice. oh, no sleep till Bucky's bumper Hell sticker. Yeah. yeah. Speak right. on it. Very nice. And then, Thank and then you. the next thing is I, I really hope you get some use out of this. All right. Because oh, I was he really excited to get it for you. Okay. Speaking of Bucky's, did you see they have a, a billboard? That I think it says 1,300 miles to the yes. nearest Bucky's. Oh, yep. right, it's outside right. of Palm Springs, California. Oh, and it's just showing it. you how much Bucky's rules <laughs> oh. and how you'll love to drive yeah. that far to get there. Okay, what Hell is it? Yeah. It's an inflatable Bucky's. It's for like the a pool. Pool, no. pool raft. Like a pool, pool flow. Yes. A, a Bucky's, Bucky's so pool raft. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. I was oh, stoked when I saw that. <laughs> I haven't even seen this version because I, I've seen other ones that I, I want to get, but they were too busy to. Um, uh, not too busy. Uh, <laughs> they were too big to to fly with once in a while. Hmm. When I, the places I want to take them to. Oh, you so. have to blow them up. Yeah, no, but no. This like this look box, how small that one. Yeah, is this in the box. box is way smaller. So I nice. had to be able to fit it in my carry on. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Check You're it out. Well. Oh, so oh, babe. Hey. Right. Gina, it was so thank nice. You, and, and I see we have uh, nothing bunt cakes. <gasps> oh wow! Yes, I brought Here those in. Yeah, for his birthday, Damn. and there's. Thank you. Uh, all the variety, every kind they make is over there. Nice. So two boxes Rip. of Hell the two yes. different varieties Rip. of Those everything. Those are so good. Thank you. Oh, Nothing heaven. but cakes rule. It's like it's holding. We had them at the, our heaven. wedding. We, now, had, them, we awesome. had them for uh, the last birthday. Now yes. I do have one more gift that was pretty kick ass that I <laughs> that I saw right when I walked in. Yeah. Under my seat, I, you might not have seen it, Woody. But <laughs> I did not is, say. What is it? There's a raccoon rug. Oh, like a, little like area. a welcome mat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Hold it up. Look at the baby. Like a like a bear rug? Like a bear skin rug? Savon can see it. Yeah. Right. It looks like something I put in my kid's bathroom. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) That's very cute. Like if my daughter was really into raccoons, like I could get that, like put it in front of her. Oh, yeah. Like in the kid's bathroom, like their sink. Yeah. Morgan got that for him. Oh, Oh, babe. Thank you, Morgan. She's poor. Morgan. (laughs) So it means means that much more. I know, right? Morgan. No, I found it at Aldi of all places. I'm like, this looks like menace. Leave it to the chicks to be the most thoughtful. I know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday, menace. I got him the misspelled sash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The sash. <laughs> Meanest. I know. It's like people that didn't hear that <laughs> yes. it was misspelled and they see it on social media. They're like, I think it's misspelled. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? well, it's oh, really? perfect. It's oh, the perfect really? gift. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Thank you. I will menace on the uh on the birthday wish list oh or the I'm sorry, God. the um bucket list. Bucket list, sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh pretty it, successful year. Oh my God. So lit. Even things that have not happened yet are scheduled to happen uh later this year by the end of the year yeah i mean it didn't have to happen in the birthday month month. it just had to be something Uh that you uh that you got set up right yes yeah so baskets goals yeah you know oh i thought you were gonna go down the list but i'll I'll go ahead i'm just waiting for you to tell me what what you got checked off okay so the the kick the field goal kick the field goal is gonna happen at the superdome 
So okay. that's going to happen that's next awesome. month. And then uh, shoot baskets at Intuit Dome. Now the Intuit Dome and the Clippers did invite me to their opening game and I got to go to that. And that was absolutely awesome. Um, but I did not get to shoot baskets. And do you know who hit me up? Is Crypto Arena. Oh, Crypto.com. So I might be doing that pretty soon. All right. Damn. Uh, uh, be on screen in Fast and Furious 11. That did not happen. No. <laughs> Visit Pizza Hut headquarters in Plano, Texas. One of the things I thought would be the most easy. I know. And that did not happen. No. Pizza uh, Hut, where are you at? <laughs> Visit Panda Express Innovation Kitchen. Yep. That did happen. That did happen. Okay. It was lit. Uh, tour <laughs> a mansion with Josh Altman. That still oh, might happen. the million dollar listing guy. Right. Yeah. 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 Josh, where are you at? Uh, visit JBL headquarters. I did, and did that, that ruled. I spent over four hours there. Yep. Wow. Uh, give away a golf cart on Instagram. I like so specific and so random. <laughs> I want to do it, but I like I yeah. want to give away a golf cart. I do. I want to do it on Instagram. <laughs> uh huh. Because you know specific. <laughs> specific and random. There's nothing wrong with happiness that? that it would bring somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think no, it'd be great. But I mean, like you know, fishing for something there. Uh, did that happen or it did not happen? Did not happen. Right. I tried to make that happen, but you know what? I'll just uh, I'll just announce it now. Do you know what's gonna be happening on the Woody Show Instagram? What? Uh, we are gonna give away a trip to the Comic Con cruise nice. on the Woody oh, Show wow. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, at the Woody Show on Instagram. So that Greg, makes up for it. I mean, you've All already right. got passes. Obviously. I know. Yeah, this is gonna be the best trip of yeah. life. So keep an eye out for that. All right, have a listener meet up at Suavecito. Yes, that's going to happen probably in December. Okay. Tour the hardwood suite inside the Palms Casino. Didn't happen. I had 20 people who said they could make it happen. <laughs> yeah. Never did. Never never happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tour the, I'm sorry, Ride Zero G. Yeah, they followed Woody. me on Instagram and that was it. Yeah, that was it. Take an Aerojet to Palm Springs. Nothing. And Oh, and visit UFC headquarters in Vegas. And that was kick-ass. That was awesome. And they, honestly... Seeing how excited uh, Morgan was for that, that yeah. was like, oh, yeah, man. right. Literally best day of my life. Yeah. Worth it. So thank you. Okay, so, so get it. the Woody Show on Family Feud. This is one that a lot of people wanted to see happen. It's yes. not happening for a couple different reasons. Number one, to be on Family Feud, you have to actually be family. Weak. All right. <laughs> and then for the celebrity one, let's be serious. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So we don't qualify for either now. category. <laughs> and it, would all, it, would, it would also be a celebrity and their family. Right. So yeah. it's not just, you know, right. whoever. Right. So, so they can't have a special edition? Like, no, no, they're not going to do it. For family, who? Yeah, but for us, you look how much that makes sense. If not you put even celebrities. Show, but if you yeah. put, like, if you do, like, yeah. We're stuck radio. No we, hold on, guys. Hold on. Dial it back. Remember uh, Kelly and Regis? They had the thing where they had, like, radio people, like, all week. And it just makes sense. Because all the radio people are going to do is talk about how they're going to be on Okay, but that, there's not something they feud. currently do. I know, but they yeah. can. All right, well, then you pitch that rule. to them. Okay. The other one I thought was hilarious is that uh, he had here, number nine on his list, fly Fiji Airways to Japan <laughs> <laughs> with a stop in Fiji. Yeah. Now, he didn't get to do that, but no. you know who went to Fiji <laughs> on Fiji Airlines? Menace's wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Without Menace. Just random. Yeah. Just randomly a She friend. just went. Bye. Yeah. yeah, and enjoyed it. Loved it. I'm sure she did. What's yeah, not what's not to, not like, to love? Exactly. Other than a really long flight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yeah. true. But if it's on a good airline, who cares? Yeah. Sure. Rules. <laughs> but yeah, so she went to Fiji on Fiji <laughs> Airlines. Yeah. Or Airwaves, whatever it's called. Yeah. So of all the things on your list that did not get accomplished or, you know, done, what's mm -hmm. the one thing that you wish would be the thing? That probably, happened? Probably the golf cart on. Uh, yeah, golf I would love to do. Zero G. I think the zero G. Zero G and God, golf cart, yeah. I would love yeah. to watch that video. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. That'd be insanity. That'd well, be so cool. See you and Woody up in zero G? Yeah. Floating? Today is uh, actually Menace's birthday. The actual day is wow, today. Finally. And we get to eulogize Menace, because why uh -oh. wait until they're dead? Oh, yeah. Why? Yeah, and so that's coming up next here on The Woody Show. 877-44-WOODY. If you'd like to have uh, something said to Menace, you could do that. Happy birthday, Menace. Coming in a lot on the text. I see that. Thank you. See that? I'll see another one. Uh, who's telling Menace he looks 35? Bitch looks 50. <laughs> <laughs> With those eye bags. I said. He's not fooling I didn't bags, say that I, I didn't say I look 35. I said I feel 35. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Open your eardums, idiot. Wow. We uh, started this, this tradition, I believe, last year at some point. So whenever it's somebody's birthday, we get to say nice things about them now while they're still around. Because why wait? Why wait until they're that We call the segment, why wait until they're dead? Right. Why? And so we eulogize them, even though they're still here, for their birthdays. So they can hear all the nice stuff. Yeah. When you're dead, wow. you can't hear all the nice stuff that people are saying about you. You don't care at that point. Yeah. yeah. 
So uh, Menace just has to sit here, and he's going to take it. <laughs> and uh, little buddy, 45 years old today. Happy birthday to you, Menace. Thank you. You're dead. You stop talking dead person. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> You're dead. My bad. And uh, right. we will start with Seabass. Ah. Well, I'm going to take pe people back here, because many people don't know that when I first joined this show some nine years ago, there was friction between Menace and I. There was. Uh, I think it was a combination of things. It was Menace saw me as maybe a threat. I came in and started doing a lot of stuff maybe that he had done in the past, street interviews and wild stunts and mm. things of that nature, and I was doing it much better. And and, that, <laughs> and you know, getting a lot of attention internationally and, uh, on, the news, on the news and things like that. <laughs> and so I don't blame him for that. Yeah. The other thing is when I first started, I was the, quote, executive producer, meaning I had to, like, do all this stuff with the sales people and scheduling and all that garbage and oh, your strong point. All the right. very important yeah. things. Which yes. for folks who don't know, I was that was kind of the, the lie that Woody told management so he could bring me on the show. But regardless, I had to do those duties. And Menace liked doing a lot of that stuff himself. So again, there's friction there because he was already he was already working with the salespeople and I'd find out about things and so on and so forth. But our relationship blossomed and grew immensely once I left that position and we gave it off to the series of losers who've had it since then. <laughs> It's just, some gas is escaping from Menace's corpse. <laughs> right. That happens sometimes. Yeah. It's he, creepy. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Because once the turd evacuates, yeah. right. you know, when someone dies, then there's like a build up of gas behind it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but they since then, Menace and I have gotten along yeah. delightfully collaborating, and we've found that our... Oh, I did, I should say. We did get along delightfully, because he's dead. Yeah. Mega uh, <laughs> We got along delightfully and really enjoy... Uh, bouncing ideas off each other and uh, supporting each other creatively, uh, you know things like just little little things like buying things for him and, and vice versa. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. romantic! It is a some might say Gina a bromance. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh, babe. Romantic. So sweet. Gone too soon, unfortunately. He, I got yeah. an invite to his wedding, which didn't mm -hmm. happen, but he invited me. Like that was very sweet of him, and he will be missed, little buddy. R.I.P. Menace, age forty-five. Mm -hmm. All right. Too soon. Way too soon. So young. Yeah. I hate when they go that young. All right. Greg Gorey. Well, there's so much to say about Menace. About 17, maybe 18 years ago when we first met, I was actually <laughs> hoping for this day, the day he would be dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Because much like uh, Seabass's beginnings. A lot of friction. With, uh, with Menace. Right. A lot of friction, yeah. But now that he is dead, I don't have that feeling so much. Yeah, uh, I remember like when uh, Menace first started because you know Greg would come to me and he'd go, why is he here? Yeah. <laughs> it was- Why not, do we need him? It was not fun. He was this- <laughs> Young, bratty-ish disturber. He was loved, a menace. Loved to argue. He loved to yell at people. He was like a gnat that just always swarmed around your face. Oh. And it was annoying. But fast forward, we had a renaissance on this one Ooh. flight. We comforted each other during some turbulence. And we made an agreement on that day for any future arguments. And the catchphrase that we came up with on any future argument was, be like menace on a plane. Uh, he was the first person to show me what Twitter was. And I remember thinking, wow, that is so stupid. That will not catch on. And he said, no, look, you can post, oh, I don't know, what you had for lunch today. And he showed me that he had posted a picture of a sandwich. And I said, that is so stupid. <laughs> but sure enough, Twitter did become a thing. I mean, and, you were right. And that's what Menace had been saying. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he let me stay at his apartment when I was looking for a place to live. That was super nice, super generous. He and his wife had this one bedroom place. And the bathroom was in the bedroom. So this was a two-day visit without pooping for me. And <laughs> if Menace were here right now, which he's not because he died. Just his body, his corpse. He would say, I'm proud of you, Greg, for not being an animal of a house guest. Save it for the home bowl. I know he'd be saying that. So did you not even go to like a grocery store or a restaurant? No. You just, I just held camel, it for two days? Camel for two it. days. That is a powerful man. It's Prairie powerful. Dog it's in. called Mind Over Matter. It's something Menace was great at. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Menace was a generous spirit. He was the birthday cake king. Did he bring a cake for anybody with a birthday on the Woody show? No. He brought three. Yeah. He would throw lavish. He did throw a lavish wedding at the Taco Bell Cantina. Not that we would know because we weren't we invited. Did. Yeah. Didn't even know about the wedding until long after it happened, but I'm sure he was a generous tipper. Uh, in his annual birthday bucket list, he made sure to include one or all of us from getting runoff in the form of food or events or visits to random offices. Oh, Menace did love an office. The allure of office culture, the break rooms, the kitchens. He loved offices so much that he legally lived here in our office. 
Not sure what emotion was even stronger, his love of the offices or his disdain for being at home. <laughs> it was really interesting to see his transformation from bright hoodies, frosted tips, to his trademark black V-necks, his most recent flannel obsession. Uh, we were even with him when he transitioned from fake glasses to actual legal that's prescription right. glasses. That's, that's what he actually got. We were old. there. We were there. Menace was always there to help you with something that you needed because he had a guy. You need a dentist? He knew one. And speaking of glasses, need new glasses? Ah, I got a glasses guy for you. He had a shoe guy. If you needed a, to book a ride to the airport, but you only wanted like a sprinter van that was neon green with pleather interior <laughs> and a stripper pole, he had a neon green pleather stripper pole sprinter guy. Aww. It was incredible. Yeah. I only wish he had lived long enough to get a coffee robot guy. That's something that we never... And the one touch... Pink Pinky. Pinky. M M maker. maker. But maybe he will have his coffee robot in heaven. I hope heaven has endless fried chicken and pizza Aww. and burgers. May Menace never wait for food and never wait for the bill again. And I also hope heaven has full walls and doors in their bathrooms, Menace. Mm. Yes. And that you can poop in peace mm. for eternity. Oh, that's that so nice. Sweet. That was really sweet. All right, let's go with uh, Sammy. All right, well, Menace was a body in motion. For a guy who never ate a vegetable, he had stamina. <laughs> and he was always somewhere doing something. You could always count on him for a last minute invite. And the only thing that he ever asked in return was that you have fun and keep pace because he waited for no one. Mm. And everyone always heard him say, join fun. But he also didn't, and he also said, don't talk about it, be about it. And Menace lived by his own advice and he chose to join fun every day. And when I would say bye to him on a Friday, he would always point at me and he would say, hey, make sure you do something fun this weekend. Boy, <laughs> and, she did she. Right. And <laughs> he would follow up on Monday and ask what fun thing I did. And let's be honest, most of the time my answer was I cleaned and I crocheted. <laughs> <laughs> and now that Menace is gone, I'm going to leave you with some very wise advice that he gave me. Stop cleaning so much. Only clean when people come over. Oh, <laughs> I respect that's that. That's so nice. R.I.P. Menace. That's so nice. All right, uh, Gina Grad. Yeah, um, mine's a little short, you know, because I I've been haven't been here that long. But in the short time I was able to know Menace, my impressions of him went from uh, seeing just a goofy guy who was stoned all the time and trotted out only to do interviews for Bigfoot enthusiasts, <laughs> to beholding a social media maven who made kick-ass videos with a collection of shoes worth more than my annual rent. I'd come to admire his cool, casual style, and I thank him for turning me on to the best thing I currently own, my Meta Ray-Ban sunglasses. Though I'm sad about his loss, I take comfort in knowing that a guy who bounced from event to event all day, every day, is finally able to take a much-needed dirt nap. Oh. R.I.P. Yeah, Menace. True. It. Very yeah. true. Thank you, Gina. Yeah, no problem. You know, I, uh, I echo a lot of what was already said in this room. His generosity. Is always a willingness to go and do different things, mm -hmm. try different things. I admired toward the end of his end of his life how he had a jacket for every occasion. Yeah, he was going to be at a game. It was very clear that he ran out and got that jacket <laughs> right before <laughs> the event. He also had jackets for yeah. places I didn't even know offered jackets. Yeah. Bucky's, oh, Bucky's, right, yeah, for Shiny example, jacket. Randy's Donuts. Mm -hmm. He became a jacket guy. He was a shoe guy when mm, we first yeah. met him. Then he became a jacket guy. He was a great travel companion. Mm. We would fatten up like no other. To get that empty seat mm -hmm. on the plane, <laughs> going places rate was we a hundred, right? We damn near a hundred. I think there was oh, maybe okay. one that we got screwed on. I mean, sometimes planes are full; you can't do anything right. about that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. Has become <laughs> a phrase that I use a lot in my life ever since I met Menace. Mm. Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> or what a blit yeah. dog <laughs> son. How am I going to keep up on all the latest uh, slang? Yeah. You're not going to be cool. How am I going to keep up on these streets? These are things I wonder as we've lost Menace. But then I think, much like Gina, man, he actually gets to rest for a little bit now. Yeah. Now that he's gone to his forever home, hopefully there are Taco Bells. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, let's hope. And endless chicken places. Mm -hmm. He was sad in 1997 when the four-alarm double-decker double taco was discontinued at Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. In what year? 1997. Right. Menace discontinued in 2024. <laughs> Perhaps in heaven, <laughs> we'll be able to get his four alarm double decker taco oh. in heaven with Taco Bell and angels by his side. Because that'll be his first question where to food at? Where to food at? Yo, St. Peter. <laughs> where to food at? There we go. He'll be missed.
Yes. Oh wow, he came back to life. Menace. Oh, oh hi. Whoa. Oh, it's it's a Whoa. What it's happened? It's alive. Yeah. Any, Where any, was anything I? Anything you'd like to say before uh, <laughs> before we wrap up on your eulogy? Well, I was dead, but Were you hovering I over felt us? Felt like I I heard very nice things about me while I was dead. Yes. And I would like to say thank you to everybody who said very very nice things about me. In my jackets. Oh thank yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I have no Randy sold a jacket. <laughs> Never, I actually apparently, had, apparently. no, I've had that jacket. I saw him post that picture over the week. I'm like, there's a Randy's jacket? <laughs> yeah, I've actually had that jacket for over two years. He's I just got a UFC jacket? Wow. I just couldn't fit in it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like all these jackets you think are new, they're not. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. Too fat for a Randy's donut jacket. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's some ish. Yeah. All right. Well, happy birthday, Menace. <laughs> Thank you.